Hello everybody, uh, welcome back to my channel, welcome to my, uh, my. it's going to be a makeup room vlog today, um, I did go out walking, I did, um, well make sure you're subscribed to my channel and you like this video and you're of course following me up on all of the socials right now, if you're unsure of what my links are, the link tree has everything in it guys, so I don't want you to end up on anyone's fake profile, people are always making fake profiles, so annoying, get alive, uh, so yeah, click on the link tree if you're ever in doubt and just make sure that you've got all the right links there. So, I did indeed go out for a walk today, um, but it was so much colder than I realised. Where it had been a bit warmer for a few days, I, I didn't put on extra thermals. Um, I just really underdressed. I was feeling very cold, quite uncomfortable. I was jumping it up and down on the spot and doing things to keep warm. So I thought, yeah, do you know what? I'll just do one from inside today. Mm. Who likes my mug? I don't know if it's back to front, but you get the idea. Mm. Cheeky mug. Um, so, yeah, I thought I'd have a little waffle from in here while I do my makeup. I did go walking by a lake today and um, I remembered something. I remembered something quite nice about um, being near a body of water, either living near one or spending time around one is, uh, very calming and good, uh, for your mental health, uh, as well. Did you know that, guys? I mean, it might, so, to some of you, it might seem kind of obvious, but I had completely forgotten about it until today. I was just walking around the lake and I, I just felt quite calm and I thought, oh yeah, it's, it is actually officially calming for the soul. Uh, when you are around or near body of water, I guess the sea counts as well, doesn't it? Yeah. So I'm at Babe Station TV tonight, and it's mostly it's mostly the TV I will be on tonight. There'll be a little web section somewhere in there, I'm sure, but it's uh, mostly going to be TV. Uh, but I'm excited nonetheless. Looking forward to it. This is going to be good. Uh, uh, I've only got the one shift a week at the moment, so we've really got to make sure that we make the most of it, right? Got to make sure we make the most of it. Mm, using a different eyeshadow palette today. Going to go a little bit dark and mysterious on my eyes, I think. I've also launched... Uh, I've launched a... Uh, um, a, uh, a fetish page uh, on OnlyFans. I've turned my free page into like a fetish page because I do tend to be fairly popular. I've got a, a lot of fans that are into that kind of thing, um, be it like feet or just other fetish style videos. So I've decided to do a whole dedicated page for that. I have updated uh, the link tree because its name has changed. So I've updated everything. Um, to uh oh uh, yeah so you all end up in the right place so you can go and check that out if that is your thing if that is what you are into then uh, definitely have a little look at that um i so enjoyed my time away um in sort of dorset bournemouth area visiting the new forest for kendall's birthday that definitely has got me nice and refreshed that was so good lovely beach walk sometimes i really i, I wish i lived near a beach you know um this weekend i'll be actually going to uh it's my dad's birthday this weekend lots of birthdays um and uh he lives near uh, Winterton on sea he lives quite near there so I will be going for a glorious beach walk I think on the Saturday the Saturday or the Friday uh, something like that and I'll be uh, I will be there and it will be glorious absolutely glorious <sighs> looking forward to that my dad doesn't drink anymore, so he likes to he likes to make sure I've got lots of wine. I think he likes to live out his drinking through me, although I'm not really much of a drinker. So he's got me three bottles of wine, bless him. I'll never get through that. Mm. I will never get through that. My elbow is 
completely ruined guys i mean the anti-inflammatories are helping but i think i'm going to be on a very very long road to i don't know some kind of recovery or some kind of relief i've had to I still can't work on my upper body at all at the gym. There's absolutely no way I can do any of that, unfortunately. So it's quite... I'm quite sad about it at the moment. But I can do nothing else but just... I uh, just rehab it, you know. That is all I can do at the moment. So I can take my anti-inflammatories and keep doing my exercises. It is slow, slow progress with it. Um... I did end up in sort of A&E with it the other day because I was getting lots of odd sensations in it. I might have mentioned that on my last video. Uh, but yeah, they didn't want to They didn't want to scan it or look at it any further. They just said that's quite normal for, for, for what I've got for tennis elbow. So... Uh, yeah pray for me guys apparently if you if you do have tennis elbow for like a, like up to two years they resort to operating on you eventually so i'm really hoping that doesn't happen uh, pray for me um anyway i hope you all have a lovely lovely day make sure you uh check me out later make sure you are clicking on all of my links and following me everywhere and i will see you again uh tomorrow